The mobile gaming market is something that is very large and sought after by a lot of companies. There's a lot of mobile games out on the market today, and some of them are better than others. Some games are a genuine joy to play, something that I can sink many hours into. And some are games that you download for a quick 5 minutes, get the gist of it, then you get bored and delete it. But there's one company that I think kind of rises above the rest in terms of being a little bit scummy with their business practices. While it might not be on the same caliber as some AAA developers, the company we're going to be talking about today is Voodoo. Now, Voodoo releases a ton of different mobile games for a variety of different people, but for the majority, they're kind of just short little games that I personally download, play for 5 minutes, and then delete again. But it's not because they're not particularly fun that I delete them, it's because the games are usually riddled with ads. After playing for a short amount of time, I'll just keep getting ads after ad after ad, and it just seems to not stop. I could get rid of ads if you wanted to pay a little bit of money, but me putting money into a mobile game is not something I typically do, unless it's going to be something I play for a very long time. Like I said, today what we're going to be looking at is Voodoo. Now you can see through their app page that they do release a ton of different mobile games. And there's a variety of different ones, but they're mostly, like I said, very short games. We're going to play through a few of them so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about when I say that they are riddled with ads and games that you play for a few minutes and then probably delete and don't really touch again. So let's start off by playing Tenkyu. Yeah, I probably pronounced that right at all. Some of these games are going to be in the vertical orientation. I actually think most of them are. There are a couple that are horizontal, so uh, please pardon that. So, as we load up this game, you can see that there's already an ad for Crowd City, which is another game that Voodoo has created. There's ads at the bottom of the screen, and, well, it's not too jarring. It's nothing too bad. I can deal with that right now. How much is it going to cost me if I want to get rid of ads, though? $2.99. $2.99 to get rid of ads for one of their games, and it's pretty much like this for all of the games that they release. But could this game possibly justify the uh, admittance of ads? Is it actually fun, something that I can justify spending 3 bucks on just so I can have a more solid experience where I don't have to watch ads every time? Well, let's get right into it. So first thing I'm noticing is this game has absolutely no sound to it. So that's that's fun. So that you just tilt you use your screen to, you move it with your finger. That's it. You put the ball, you put a ball in a hole. Level 2. And one thing you'll also notice about some of these games is I see a ton of their ads on things like uh, Instagram, where it's like, oh, only 1% of people make it to level 100. Jesus Christ. See that scared me. There was no sound of the game, and I'm already getting an ad. I, for, I don't even know what game this is. Can I exit? I can exit. So at least this ad in particular was not that bad in the sense of I can actually exit out of it pretty quickly. But some of the ads I've gotten on some of their games are just absurd, where it's like I have to watch a 30 second ad to do this, and it's quite annoying. But Honestly, right now, the game itself is not terrible. The ad at the bottom of the screen is a little bit annoying, but nothing that's gonna make me delete it. Oh, another ad. What'd I get through? Like, another two levels, and I already got another ad? To play pool? Look, it's already a 30-second ad. Infinite Golf. Uh, this is what I downloaded before, before I even decided to make this video. Um, and I didn't mind it, but while it's in-game content wasn't terrible, the ads got a little bit annoying. So what Infinite Golf is, it it's golf. Uh, you shoot a ball and you want to get it into the hole in, what, like one shot? I fucked that up real bad. Why is it... Dude, okay. I don't know why it's... So you can get an extra ball or a second chance. Uh, I clicked second chance by accident. You get an ad. You get an ad. You wanna you wanna get an extra ball? You wanna try again? Get a fucking ad. I guess that's not terrible, because you don't really have to do that, but now I'm stuck watching a Yahtzee ad. Maybe it's just the way I'm holding my hands. Ah, oh, I'm fucking out of bounds. Try it again. And we didn't do it. I wonder if it's gonna no, you only get two balls. See? 
Oh, you missed... You, you fucking failed? Watch an ad. After 69 tries, I reached orbit with the fucking smirking emoji. Because that's what I want. Tap it when the arrows go... Oh, fuck, I messed up. I don't care. Game over. Let's start again. You told me that didn't go in. This game's fucking bullshit. Another bogey. I try to get this one up. I just barely missed. Try it again. It didn't go in. Second, and I can tap to skip, but I'm still gonna get an ad regardless. It's done with that one. Time to go to perfect hit. Another vertical game. Voodoo. You see the common practice with Voodoo. It's just you fail their game. You watch an ad. You want to try again? You watch an ad. You want to do anything? You watch an ad. And all their fucking ads when you start up the game are for their other games. They really, they really want you to buy their, play their games. You don't have to buy their games. This game actually has sound. So you, it's another put balls in the holes game. That's, I feel like that's a common practice with them. They just want to put balls in holes. This is, again, another game that I did play before and... I played it for a few minutes and then was like, oh, it's just Ad City. Like, why don't YouTube, why doesn't YouTube have ads like this? Every two seconds of a video, you get a fucking ad. <laughs> and they're not very difficult games. Uh, well, that sucked. They're not extremely difficult games. I'm sure the farther you get along, they do get more difficult, but they start off very easy. They're very easy to learn. Something that kids can just get into and you know oh I didn't even fail and again getting another ad and I want to say this is another ad for one of their games it just seems to be the common the common practice with voodoo it's just I, I don't care if I'm a noob or a pro and I clicked the X button but it still it still took me to one of their ads so I like maybe I just got fat fingers I don't know baseball boy this is one I've seen on ads a lot. It's, oh, only 1% of people make it to the castle in the back, but little do people know that the castle in the back doesn't exist because it's just a still image. I don't know if that's this game or another one, but... It's one of those games you wanna... 240 meters is pretty good. You can collect that or you can double it by watching another ad. You can tap to upgrade. See, it's, this is, it's very basic games it's you get the ball as far as you can they're not really unique in what they create some other things are but a lot of them are just kind of it's like reskins of games you've already played as a kid and you can play them as an adult but watch ads so we've gone that was we hit the ball twice and we're getting an ad for i think this is happy glass i don't even know if that's a voodoo game but regardless hit the ball twice i already got an ad Dune. Now, from what I've seen on this one, it's a reskin of Tiny Wings. And if you know what Tiny Wings was, um, yeah, I'm over 15. Why can't I click it? I don't, I don't want my personal data. You know, see what I do? I use my personal data for you guys. So if you had an iPhone back in the day and you knew what Tiny Wings was, it was essentially this. You were a bird. And you tried to get as far as you can without stopping. This is that. My phone vibrates. Okay. I just unlocked something. Again, this is not a terrible game in its own right. It's something I enjoyed. I really liked Tiny Wings back in the day. Not something I really play anymore. I don't know if it works on iOS 12 or whatever the fuck iOS we're at now. But it, it's not an inherently bad game. But I'm going to tap to continue, go to the end, we get an ad. So, it's just a little bit ridiculous that... You're getting ads after almost everything you do. You can't really get rid of these things. They're they're kind of here to stay, unless you pay them. You can pay them, but it's just really ridiculous when companies like this are releasing games left and right, and it's just ads after ad after ad. So, I got a new skin. Let's use that and that. Okay. We're going to go again. Like I said, not a terrible game. It looks nice. It it runs well. I mean, I'm on an iPhone 6S, so I have an old phone. But it, it doesn't run terribly. It's just like a Battle Royale where I'm fucking 
trying to beat other balls? Is that what's going on? This is a battle royale game in disguise as a fucking Tiny Wings clone. It's it's not terrible. It's a fun game. I just the fucking ads are what kill it, and that's what kills a lot of mobile games for me. It's just I get it. You're not paying as much money or any as you would pay for like an actual game. Another ad. This one, at least, I can click off right away. You're not paying as much money as you would for, say, Call of Duty, or... I mean, a lot of games want... That was fucking terrible. A lot of games want you to pay a lot of money if you're playing on console or some PC games. You're going to have some free games, but they're going to have ads or other not-fair business practices. And this is just another one of those things where it's... They're probably making a ton of money off the ads that they put in these games... But it's just so fucking annoying when I can't do this. See, it's been a few tries since I got an ad. So maybe you gotta get far enough and then they'll give you an ad. That's their reward. Your reward for getting far enough in the game is an ad. That's probably it. I'm to the moon. This game actually has sound too. Like, not a lot, but some. Better than nothing, I suppose. I want to win the battle royale of the fucking balls that are on hills. This makes me want to play Tiny Wings, because Tiny Wings is like a $1.99 game, and I fucking bought it, and it was fun. And this is a free game, but it's fucking Ad City. Maybe I'll just play Tiny Wings again. Yep, I'm going to fucking... Helix Jump, another one that if you're on Instagram, or you see ads anywhere, you're probably going to see Helix Jump a lot. It's one of those, oh, only 2% of people can do this. Uh, you can unlock balls, I guess. Okay. It's one of the, you just, your ball, you make it go through holes. Well, not, not really holes, I guess, but you don't want to touch the red unless you have that momentum going, then you can break it through. Level one passed, I like it. Again, not an extremely difficult game, or at least in the start, it's not extremely difficult. New record, um, apparently I did, um, apparently I did hit that little spot I wasn't supposed to, and I clicked the button to restart or start over and I get an ad when I could have watched an ad to continue from where I'm at. So from the seams of it, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like there's any point to not. It doesn't seem like there's any point to not do that. I suck. Look at that, oh, that was fucking clutch right there. And I didn't even fail and I get another ad. You see the problem with this? And I can't, I couldn't even get out. We're gonna play Twisty Road now. This is gonna be the last one, because I'm fucking... You know how much money I've probably given these people from watching their ads? Stop showing my name! So we can go and turn left or right. So it's, oh shit, this is jarring. Now again, not a completely, oh. again, not a completely unique concept. But, it's a fun game. I don't mind it. It's like Super Monkey Ball, but like the bootleg version. We made it to the thing. English. We made it to the end. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's, it's very minimalistic, but at least the colors are pretty. And it's not a hard game to get the grasp of. It's just the ads that kill them. And I just fell off the map. Am I going to get an ad? I'm going to guess we're getting an ad. No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't get an ad that time. Is this like the one voodoo game without ads after I die? Wouldn't that be something? I don't even think your momentum gets faster the, the longer you go on these levels. It kind of hurts my eyes now that I'm looking at it. Is my phone just too close to my face? Probably. So, oh, another ad, and I didn't mean to click it, but I clicked it. So, that's great. Let's go to level 25. Is this going to be like that difficult? You need to collect cubes. Oh, and then you just need to jump off. Cause Okay. Because it's kind of unique. It's not an extremely new concept, but it's, it's nothing that's... It's not terrible to play. It runs well. It's responsive. It's not hard. It's just fucking annoying when you get ads every two seconds. Another ad. Played one game and you died. And I got another ad. 
That just seems to be how it usually goes with this game, with Voodoo as an app developer. I'm not a huge fan of them. Like I said, their games themselves, their games themselves are not terrible. It's just the ads. It's riddled with ads. It's not a ton of fun to play when after almost every single game, after every 30 seconds, you're getting another ad. It's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I try to steer clear of Voodoo. There's not really too many games I play on my phone. Um, minus a few, but it's just, I'm not a fan of ads just being shoved down my throat. I get it, they're making money, you need a way to make money, but it's just, it's a little bit too frequent for me. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Do you have any games from them? What do you play on mobile? Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!